Today I'm going to explain how Jesus and the Holy Bible explains how to be properly become one flesh. In Genesis 2 uh, verses 22 through 23 in the New International Version, the verse goes, Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man. He brought her to the man, the man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. To my understanding, God himself makes our partner and introduces us to our partner himself. This is how you become one flesh. And the next verse, we have Genesis 2. 24 in the New International Version. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh. We have no partner for God has not made our partner yet himself, the creator. Jesus explains this as well in Matthew 19 verses 4 through 6 in the New International Version. Jesus says, <clears throat> Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Again, so what, what I'm getting from there is what God has joined together by a rib himself, the creator. Jesus then carries on in the next verse. And explaining more in detail about why you shouldn't do any of the following. In Matthew 5 verses 27 through 30 in the New International Version. It says, you have heard it that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. <sighs> now, around this chapter and these verses, Jesus also explained that Moses allowed a written divorce because the people weren't willing to let go of one another in each other's hearts. To make it official. But people weren't listening to God. And what God instructed Moses. And continued to disobey. Now we go, we go to Matthew 5 verse 32. In the King James Version. But I say unto you. That whosoever shall put away his wife. Saving for the cause of forni fornication causeth her to commit adultery and whos whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committed adultery jesus is jesus is saying you don't have a wife and upon living this way you are saving yourselves from fornication and living in sin for no one on this planet can have sex. 
Okay. Now, back to Genesis 1, verse 27, and the New International Version. So God created man in his own image. The image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. <clears throat> it is to my understanding that God is creating a partner for us in his own image. It is to my understanding for the man, God makes a partner from a rib. For the woman, God makes a partner from dirt. Today, we, we go to the world and we say, how do I know that that is my partner? It would be nice if I know that is my partner. Okay, this is how we know this is our partner. For God himself will make our partner himself for us in his own image. Not us telling God a laundry list of how we want a partner. God is going to make us a partner for how he seeks fit, for he already knows who we are. This is how you become one flesh. The words I now pronounce you husband and wife are not in the Bible. The word marriage in the Bible, if you were to get your Bible out, app out today and in the search bar, type in marriage, you will find at least 27 times or more the word marriage will pop up, but it is not the word marriage of how you're supposed to properly get married. If you were to look up the word husband and wife, you'll find like 32 times or more, depending on what Bible version you're on. And it still does not explain how to properly get married. This is why Jesus says um, in Matthew 19, verses 4 through 6, I don't know if it's in every Bible, but the one that I, I found it in was the New International Version. He says, haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning, the Creator made man and female. There's another verse, which I didn't write down this time. It says, it hasn't been so since the beginning. Meaning, since this all started. This is the question that humanity asks us today. What happened and why is this happening? Jesus answered it, but we didn't understand. In Exodus, God gave us Ten Commandments. And the sixth commandment said, thou shalt not commit adultery. Nowhere in that commandment did it say, you have to be married first. Okay. The Bible has multiple occasions from front to back, the word forn fornication. Okay. God and Jesus themselves taught us that word. 